The Cordillera Administrative Region is dubbed as the watershed cradle of Northern Philippines, site of the world-famous rice terraces and home to various indigenous peoples. The region has one of the unique topographies and landscapes in the country, characterized by sharp ridges, grand forests, and hard-stopping highway systems. The region's rolling and mountainous topography facilitates irrigation development and farm cultivation in areas of higher elevation. Like the rice terraces, several vegetable terraces in the region are part of the service areas of communal irrigation systems assisted by the National Irrigation Administration from various plant sources. High-density polyethylene pipes are more usual in the rolling terrains cultivated for high-value crops usually irrigated through gravity. These vegetable terraces are usually found in the mountains in the provinces of Benguet and Mountain Province. Farms of vegetable and high-value crops have high cropping intensity as these are cultivated two to three times a year. The Cordillera vegetables and other high-value crops are mostly being brought and supplied to the other regions in Luzon, Metro Manila, and can even reach parts of Mindanao. Just recently, a model farm for high-value crops was turned over to the Taloy Sur Irrigators Association. The model farm features a greenhouse with a total irrigated area of 231 square meters. It is equipped with an elevated water tank, a fertigation tank, and drip irrigation system, along with other accessories. A nationwide program of NIA, the model farm project aims to increase farmers' income exemplifying crop diversity through the production of high-value and off-season crops, as well as the application of new farming technologies including irrigation methods using less water. The model farm project is a perfect fit for vegetable-producing areas such as the Cordilleras, creating opportunities for farmers to avail of and learn from farm technologies. This is in consonance with NIA's mission to construct, operate, and maintain irrigation systems consistent with water resource management principles to improve agricultural productivity and increase farmers' income.